had mentioned earlier that uh, that you were having some difficulty in like people viewing you as a social service. Oh, uh, no. I'm, I'm just saying in general that the worker centers always, even though worker centers are, are, are pushing the limits beyond social agencies. You know, some social agencies just provide a service. I'm saying that on top of that, worker centers have have those combined factors of service and organizing. But I'm trying to say, I want to push the worker centers to be doing more organizing versus just service and advocacy. Right, so, that, right. that was me that was questioning the service industry part of that. Um, and, and that's just basically because the last thing that the homeless people need is another service. It's just, it's just the last thing in the world they need because they're service to death. Um, and, and by servicing them, I would be taking away even more power and they can't afford that. Well, one thing that I do is when people call me asking me what we do, I just tell them outright that what we do is that we meet with you and we talk with you about how you, you can solve your problem or what we can do to help you solve your problem. We won't do it for you, but we'll stand with you and we'll do it with you and we'll help you find the best possible solution. Um, we, I also let them know right away that we require that they sign a contract and that they're involved in um, solving other people's problems. They come to meetings, they participate in the planning and the trainings and stuff like that. I, I, just, I learned after our first victory and the people ran away that if I wanted to build power in my community that I, I had to read through the people that wanted to fight and the people that just wanted to get their own and get on. No, none of that. Just their time, just their body, just their mind and presence. 